This box just arrived UPS from a subscriber who wishes to remain anonymous with a letter that said, it's time for you to stop being such a chauvinist and do a review for the ladies that subscribe to your channel. Well, I haven't done a lot of videos for ladies that subscribe to the channel because they are such, well, that you guys are such a small minority at about three to 4%. But I'd say it's high time. I have no idea what's in here, but apparently this is going to be a review for the ladies. All right, let's open it up and see. And <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. It's seriously pink. What in the world is this? 12 volt drill and hand tool kit, 121 pieces. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm starting to think that this is a joke. I was taking this seriously here for a minute. What in the world? It is, what do we have? So what we have here <laughs> is the seriously pink 12 volt lithium, lithium ion cordless drill owner's manual and tool kit. <laughs> Boy, and everything is, everything indeed is pink as well as gold. All right, we'll just start from left to right, from left to right, in honor of our Jewish friends. All right, so here we go, or right to left, excuse me. <laughs> All right, so look, it looks like what we have here is a, uh, ba a basic home carpentry kit, 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 carpentry kit uh, and of course with the anchors here. So, you know, it's a bit patronizing here, you know, that you think that women can do more than just hang picture frames, but this seems to be what this is, what this is geared to. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we've got a, you know, it's actually a pre it's pretty comprehensive kit there. We've got a, a small level. <laughs> It's pink with a, with a magnet on it, so that's good. So if ladies, if you need to do some heavy industrial steel framing, uh, you, all, you have a magnet there that you can do. Um, <laughs> it's got a groove in it right there for uh, if you need to check the fall, you know, quarter inch per foot on your sewer drain. You know, you're not just relegated to hanging pictures, but uh, all in all, it's, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. All right, so we've got our standard variety of bits. Okay, so we've got our, oh, you know, this is actually a good bit kit right here. We've got, uh, you know, I'm gonna steal this. <laughs> so we've got our standard bits here. You know what, thank goodness here. I have, of all the tool kits that I've bought, I've never gotten a drill bit or a, a standard regular bit, a tiny one there that you could use for small things like glasses. It's like maybe, maybe the, the manufacturers of uh, men's tools think that that's too delicate for us, but uh, take a page from the uh, seriously pink book here and mix in one of those little ones in there. So we've got a drill driver there. And then of course over here, we've got our Phillips bits. <laughs> so we got our, uh, okay, number two, number three, we got uh, square heads and then we've got hexes. So that's a pretty comprehensive little deal right there. Oh, the tape measure. I don't know if this is going to be up to Fat Max standards here. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be about a, a t a tw 12, 12 footer, perhaps. I, I, one thing I'm really concerned about here is that it, um, that this is going to be metric. We've got a, uh, I don't know what that is. Just a, a pretty cheap tape measure right there. Oh, okay, so well, everyone's, uh, of course, you know, we're gonna be uh, all inclusive here. So we have, uh, we have metric and standard. So how, how well does it stand off? Let's see. So as all of us contractor types know, a good tape should be able to stand out about uh, 10, 13 feet, maybe some long ones. I expect this will do, do that. So the key to a good standout is to support it with a finger, bring it up where at four feet, Oh, it's got a lot of bow. Oh, okay. So it broke at uh, four feet, two inches. Not contractor grade by any means, but uh, probably adequate for measuring your, your picture frame. Uh, it's got a little lock button on there. I don't know what that's for. Oh, so you don't smash your fingers. You know, they've really taken, taken uh, the weaker sex into consideration here. 
and uh, well, built an appropriate tool set according to them. We got, we got a lock. We got a lock there. So yeah, it's it's okay. It's fine. Okay, moving on. <laughs> We've got a we have got a, got a utility knife. These are. Th that's actually pretty good. These are really nice. Uh, if you don't work, if you've never worked with these before, you'll see they've got the, the little graduated lines right there. And the nice thing about them is that when they get dull, you can just simply snap it off there. Maybe bring a little bit more out. Snap it off. That doesn't seem to want to. Well, fortunately, they've, they've included some needle nose pliers so we can make our job easier here but usually you could, yeah there we go so you can snap that off now you've got a good sharp point and a, a new clean edge and and these are probably stand replaceable so that's actually that's pretty nice right there of course you know it's a very agreeable color if you're a lady i'm sure all right so moving on we have a pretty nice little anchor set here so including in the including in the anchor so we've got some some uh Fat, some anchors for drywall. We've got some larger ones. We've got some small ones with screws. We've got stuff for picture hanging. You know, you can screw this into the wall and, and you can hang your, your doilies right there. We've got uh, some brass, faux brass ones here. It's a little variety, just different hooks and things. This is, this is a handy little thing if you want to, for your crafting needs right there. More, more wall anchors. So that's a uh, that's a, that's a decent kit, it's not too bad, it's actually kind of useful. And then, well, we even, we've even got a, a hammer. We've got a hammer with a fiberglass handle, a finish hammer, kind of a combination finish, finish hammer, general purpose hammer here with a rubber grip, very small. But again, this is what you need when you're hanging your pictures. All right, so that's, I don't know what to say about that other than uh, it's got a claw on it. And it's uh, got a smooth face, and it's, uh, and it's got a pink fiberglass handle. All right, so we've got a hammer. Here's our charger, Garden Ver Seriously Pink. We've got the logo everywhere on there. So we've got a little surprised lithium battery. That is a, that's actually a pretty good battery. So lithium, cordless drill, a very small battery, 12 volts of power, and a pink housing. Unlike our last two competitors, this one actually has two speeds. So there we've got our high and there we've got our low. We've got a clutch. Seven. What's this one go to? This one goes to 15 as well. Okay, I can't. Nope. Oh, nope. There we go. That's 15. 16. It's too much torque. I can't hold it at 16 and then our full drill there. I'll bet if I put it on high speed, I could hold it. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, uh, well, yeah, it's, um, it's a, it's a, it's got a light. Does it really matter? It's, I guess that's, that's all we need to. So let's, let's see how it, how it drills. So remember, we tried the one inch Irwin bit. Actually, this is a Bosch bit. That's why it doesn't drill very good. Bosch used, used to make good tools. Not so much anymore. Let's see how it, see if it'll drill. See if it'll do any better than the, the high point or what was it, the Genesis. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire like the Genesis did. It would really be something if the, if the pure pink was a better driller than the, than the high point or whatever it was. Oh, it's overheated, Sh shut off, it's back on. seems to get a little bit overworked and shut off. No smoke yet. Okay, well, it's got some sort of a, well, that's it. Oh, no, it's going, it's going. Shuts off again, okay, well, um, well, it's going again, okay. That's the low gear, because you're going to say, oh, you're cheating, you use the low gear. Yes, use the low gear. If we use the high gear, like the other ones, it's not going to go at all, I can imagine. It just needs to reset a little bit. So it, this, is, this is actually not too bad if you're not in any hurry. 
off again. Hmm. I don't know why why it's doing that. Maybe. Okay. Well, I I, I think I think we've seen enough. So, um, well, you know, it's not this. You're not going to drill any big one. You know, big holes with it, but uh, is it going to be suitable for hanging pictures? Um, <laughs> I guess it is. Um, oh, we, we, let, we overlooked something here. So we also have, what else we're missing? This is so the last that we have, we've got a set of needle nose pliers right there with, oh, they've got wire cutters on there. Let's see if we'll cut a nail. So any decent pair of Nippers or pliers should be able to cut through a small nail like this, wouldn't you think? Nails are pretty soft. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. It's not all show. It's got some go to it too there, huh? The weaker sex. Indeed, huh? Oh, it's, oh. Okay, well, it, uh, it will cut pliers. Or it will cut nails. It's got a little, little gripper on there. I don't if you wanted to turn something. Well, yeah, there's only one test remaining and that's the two meter, <coughs> uh, six foot drop test to see how well it holds up. So of course, we'll hold it at approximately six feet, drop it on concrete and hope for the best. All right, battery came out. That's what always happens, nothing wrong with that, but does it work? It's even got a light, see that? All right, let's, uh, let's wrap this up. So what's my final take, conclusion on the seriously pink tool kit? Well, um, oh, look at this. Here, you have to see this. This is a first for me. So we have here the three ladies that apparently put together this kit. Mel, I'm reading upside down, Mayas, and Guinea. Guinea? Not really sure how I feel about that. You know, I, you know, of course this is all tongue in cheek, but yeah. I'm not a lady, but I, I think that I would find it. If I was, if I was serious about, you know, wanting some quality tools, I, I find, I would find, I, I, I think if I put myself in the position of a woman, I would find this a bit patronizing. Um, and that, that I have to have a, a set of tools different than, than, I don't know. I just, I don't know that I get it. I just, I don't, I, I don't, I'm out of my depth here. Here's what I think. I think if you were to show up uh, on a job site <laughs> with these tools as a lady, uh, I would probably, I probably wouldn't recommend that. Um, first off, these are not contractor grade tools. These are not high quality tools. These are I don't know bottom of the barrel. I mean, they're, they're definitely, definitely on the low end, but the price reflects that. I just jumped inside and looked at it. So what does this kit cost? So I think it was coming around $65, $69. So at that, for a homeowner kit, if your ambition is nothing more than to repair a screw or to drill a hole, a small hole in drywall, or to hang a picture, or just little simple things, it's, it's fine. Could I put together the same thing of higher quality for $69? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I could put together a kit like this for under $70, but it would be probably comparable. It certainly wouldn't be pink, uh, but it would be, I would say the, the drill actually is a little bit of a surprise. I, it's better than I would have expected it to be at that power, that price point. I would think that I, I would be somewhat challenged to find a two speed lithium drill uh, with everything else here at that, I, I, I don't know. I, I would recommend to you, um, if you are a lady and you want to put together a comprehensive kit, I think that this is a good, a good set. I, I don't know if I would have went with a needle nose pliers, maybe a traditional plier. You could argue that back and forth, but actually the decisions that these ladies have made for this kit, for a little homeowner kit, are pre pretty good. You've got a hammer, you've got a needleless plier, you've even got something to cut with if you have to. You've got a knife that you can use for scraping, that you can use for cutting. You've got a tape measure, which is essential. You have a small level, it's essential. You have a decent bit kit and you have a tape measure. Although low quality, uh, it's going to get the job done. 
Sorry about that. The neighbor stopped by to borrow some rigging stuff. So let's ra wrap it up here. So I, I guess the, my, my point that I would make is that um, rather than buying something like this, if you want something, if you, if you want to do anything more than hanging a picture or just light tightening screws and stuff, I, I would recommend you, you spend, if we could double this price, if we could double, if we could put a threshold of, let's say, maybe $150, at that, you can get a, a 20 volt DeWalt uh, dr drill um, that's going to be high quality with a battery and a charger. Um, you, can, I, you can get a, a, a nice Stanley tape. Uh, so that's going to be, let's say, 100, uh, 115. We can get a nice Irwin level for $15 or so, let's say $10, $15, so 130. Um, hammer, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be right in there. I think we could do it with, with a, a better set of tools, of course, but at twice the price. And you're not going to get laughed out, laughed, you, laughed at, uh, if you ever show up on a job site with, <laughs> with any of these things. So I don't know, because if, if pink is your thing, if you want to, uh, um, hang pictures for the cure, then you can, um, you can go with this kit. It's not entirely terrible. It's just, uh, don't have any unrealistic expectations and, um, I guess if you like the novelty of everything being pink, then maybe this is the kit for you. But um, I, know of, I, I know a certain little girl that is going to very much like to have this, and uh, I'll uh, put it back together and, and give it to her uh, so she can get started on the right foot, hopefully. All right, well, thanks for watching. That's my review on the uh, Seriously Pink Toolkit uh, that was sent by Anonymous Subscriber. And uh, if you have something, if you want to, this might be a fun series we can do once in a while. If you have something that you want me to review sight unseen, uh, I'll open it on camera and you'll get my unbar unvarnished, unbiased. No, none of us are unbiased, are we? Somewhat unbiased review. Uh, we could have a little fun with this and uh, um, send it out. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.